Okay, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, May 30th of 2019. It's about 11.30 a.m. in the morning. I just received this order that you can see there. It came by U.S. Mail. Got here fast. This is... the coconut uh, hull. It's for my Placostomus, and they really want a place to hide, but you know, I don't think this is really big enough. I don't know. Well, yeah, they can get in there now, but I think I'm going to need something bigger. But this is going to go in the tank. They'll be very happy. They try to hide behind a plant or underneath a plant. So I'll be putting this in the tank in a little bit. I got this to go over the intake of my uh, external filter on the back because I don't expect any fish babies uh, for a long time, but I want to make sure they don't get sucked up in there. Uh, I got this because Procostomus and other fish are supposed to uh, like it. Let's see if it's listed. Yeah, there it is at the bottom, the six inch. So I'll be putting that in the tank here in a little bit. Oh, I definitely want to put these in right now while you're watching. Of course, you don't have a very good, uh, but I don't think the fish have been getting, especially Procostomus. I want to drop one of these in here right away. I don't think they're going to starve to death in the next few minutes, but I've been using just a flake food, I've been try and I've been having to overfeed a little bit, hoping that they will... Uh, of course, they've been going over the plants, of course, the, the uh, and the glass, but I don't think we have any algae really in there yet, and the tank is only a couple weeks, you know, set up. Um, but I want to drop one of these in immediately. And then I'll stop this video, but don't touch the mouse because I'll uh, move the camera over. And, well, I don't think I'm going to let you, you don't need to see me putting stuff in there, but once I get the stuff in there, so hang on a second, I want to get... Okay, I need to go full screen too. Let me put this, look at this in there. Okay, I just put two of those algae tabs in. I don't know if you can see the Corridors catfish are moving around pretty quick. One landed right here at the uh, bottom of this plant. Uh, I don't see where the other one is. 
for customers. One is back on the back of the aquarium heater. And where is the other one? Well, my headphone doesn't reach this far, <laughs> this far either. Well, let me get the rest of this stuff out of the uh, paper. And what is this? Oh, this is a plant with a little, in a little container. Yeah, hang on a second. I'm sure you probably heard that aircraft. We're near an air base, a joint reserve air base, so it could be uh, Navy or Air Force or uh, Marine Corps. I'm not sure if they have any. Well, yeah, I don't think it's Army. Okay, we got this plant out. Ouch, getting water here. It's in good shape. Okay, ouch. I was never in the military. I've never been in a war zone. Can't imagine being somebody in Iraq or someplace and hearing those aircraft and knowing that they were, uh, you know, going to drop some bombs or attack. Marble Queen, let's see. Uh, here it is. I'm not sure. Let me pull this little thing out, see if I can read it. I, uh, Well, I'm just going to go ahead and drop this plant in inside this pot, and then I can read this, and if it needs to come out of the pot, I'll go back in. So, let me take this headset off. You know, you're going to get blinded by that. I see they're all in these little pots. So I don't think this is working very good because of the uh, camera setup and stuff. So I'm going to stop here, but don't touch the mouse. I'm going to put this stuff in the tank and uh, 
come back and I guess we'll see how the tank looks. And uh, maybe I'll use a different camera. Come back and see how the tank looks. Be right back. Don't touch the mouse. Okay. Here is the uh, algae wafers that I put in. And right away, this Placostomus down here and this snail have been uh, not fighting, but they're both feeding on that immediately. They haven't found the other, well, I think another scale, scale, <laughs> snail actually found the other one that I put in. Let's see here. Let me pull my chair over here so I can sit down while I... Okay, so back in the uh, left-hand corner there, that's Water Sprite. That's one of the new ones I got. I put the uh, filter on the uh, intake back there. Well, that snail, I think it's still, let me see, I can't, yeah, that snail is, it's been, it, it found that one, the second one in, or the first one actually, I think that went in, and it has not left that spot. So, I put that uh, coconut little thing back there in the corner for the Placostomus, and I've got that piece of wood, but the wood will float. So I threw a little bit of gravel on it, but I may have to uh, figure something else to keep it from uh, going up to the top of the tank. I added more water to the tank. And that uh, cut down on the splashing sound from the water hitting there, cut down a lot on that. So that's the tank. I know there's not very many fish in it. And I'm thinking about, you know, eventually ordering in maybe uh, some shrimp, red shrimp. Uh, I'm not sure what else. I'm in no hurry to add. I'm really wanting the plants to, really, you know, grow out. So that's the tank, and that's what I... Uh, what I got today, the plants that have been in there have, they're doing, uh, they're doing well, except for one over here, which I think back there, I just barely see the red leaf on it. I think it got eaten by one of the snails or something. It wasn't very big to begin with, but the uh, plants that were in there the three of them or whatever are doing okay. Except this Val right here. Uh, it's, you know, it's just not growing, you know, it's not uh, spreading it too early, you know, but I can see some, you know, sh shoots coming off of the ones that were here before and they're doing okay, so. I guess that's, uh, that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching.